Good morning, everyone. I am John Philip Campos, and I am your demo teacher for today. So we will discuss about the history of physical education in India. So the history of physical education in India, Aryans animated from the two cities, Mohenjo-Daro and Harappa along rivers, Indus and Tributary Ravi in 1921. Both these Aryan slaters come to India from the Northwest in about 1500 before Christ and were able to conquer India because of their superior fighting ability and overcome the original dark skin inhabitants. There are two major religions in India at the time called Hinduism and Buddhism. Hinduism was based on the practice of religious virtue and the castle system. The Hindu teaching ranged from the practice of moderation, moderation and self-discipline, fanaticism, and self-torture. Buddhism exercised the greatest influence in India between 250 before Christ and 500 AD. It was not new religion but rather a reform movement against the evils from the caste system. Buddhism were critical of self-indulgence and worldly pleasure. They practice certain sports. They place so much emphasis on ahimsa or non-violence. And they lack the drive to participate energetically in physical activities and in worldly affairs. The Hindus were interested in educating their children to seek their place in the divine order and to preserve the castle system. They preach the right useness in material advantages and pleasure were worthy for pursuit. They believe such much on next life rather than the present. The youths were not strongly inspired to get on in the world to help their fellow men or to identify themselves with national goals but they devoted their time to castle practices and to seek absorption in the worthy pleasures. The caste dominated the India culture, just a family system dominated Chinese civilization. The caste was well established by 500 before Christ, calving out of the old tribal customs, race, class, and occupational prejudice. The four, the four main castes were Barmans, Kasatarias, Vayas, and Sodras, and the Nas outcast. The social classification confined everybody to the status he inherited at the birth. The caste in which individual was born into determine his occupational, social, and educational opportunities. Caste rules regulate that work he did, the food he ate, whom married, and whom he associated with. The education of Hindus was vocational. The system gave no room for or allow allowances for child potential abilities but was forced into occupational reserve for this caste. Brahmas enjoyed the highest position in the social order and were the educational and prized and such as dominated the whole social system. Kasatriyas performed the military and government duties Vyas work as a businessman and farmers. Sudras performed the servant duties. 
who were the lower caste. Outcast were to handle leather and waste product and he forced to live in isolation and degradation. The religious philosophies did not allow for the importance of physical education because emphasis were placed an obligation of life. But during foreign domination, the high, the high level of physical fitness for protection from extended aggression was di diminished. Physical education was with ignore in India. Some groups of physical education considered physical education in emotion will being a prerequisite for spiritual well-being. Therefore, physical fitness and motor skills were incorporated into vocational training for certain groups of people, especially the kshatriyas of military caste. Archery and yoga were taught of the military men. Dancing girls were trained to give expression to religious concept and to provide recreation for spectators. Hindus had many rules relating to health in the religious teaching with which indicated cure in body and soul. Spirits intoxicated liquors and certain foods were prohibited and fasting was recommended to hear certain disease to stimulate mental medication and refrain animal nature of man batting that symbolize washing away the sins was required daily the military caste learned and in infantry cavalry chariot or elephant discussions archery throwing of spears javelin sword slings and battle axe the soldiers also hunt and do other sports when less busy they hunt for lions boars buffaloes bears and etc using arrows pikes nets and dogs to the indians religious exercise such as the pranayam and sorna sorry soryana masker were part of their daily worship yoga was a system of religious meditation incorporated where some physical movement the yoga required an intense develop development of, of the will of control the body it consisted of many different meditative postures and regulated control of breathing through this exercise the performer achieved a state of mental relaxation and mental poise that would able to maintain com communion with god other form of exercises are olive baths and massage for maintaining and restoring health massage and oil bath or sauna one is athletic massage second medical massage third hygienic massage other are lubricant friction joint movement vibration thumping stretching and sweating games practiced by Indians are dancing, gambling, gambling on animals, fights very popular. There were bulls, dogs, elephants, ram, and rhinoceros fights. Polo and wrestling were also popular games. Children's games include whistles, rattle, dice, balls, marbles, animal bird and human toys dancing was associated with religion that that that's what we called shiva one of the hindus god was known as the lord of dance there were temp girls who danced for their own sins and for the sins of god 
sins of others from the God. There were also dancers who performed at marriage and buckets, music, reading, and writing were taught to the dancing gods. Conclusively, physical education in India was associated with religious for vocational education. History of physical education in India, the brief of physical education today in the history of this field in the Haviors, it is the source of physical education identify many of today's activities have their forerunners and history. For instance, the first Olympic dates back to 776 before Christ in ancient Greek, that's the called yoga and karate. Activities with much recent interest dates back to ancient Orient, Oriental societies. Many more facts that will help the physical education educators to understand the present better can be achieved by the studying the past. There are six, there are six division of ancient period with physical education evidence. We have Indus Valley's civilization period, the Vedic period, early Hindu period, later Indo period, medieval period, and British period. History of physical education in India. First, the division of India, the division of ancient period with physical education is Indus Valley Civilization period. This is no record of any physical arts of or craft during this period, but an idea of physical education can be carefully studied by studying the war, weapons, tools, and implements, seals, sculptures, found the Harappa and Mohendaro. The second Vedic period, in this period, origin of Surya Namaskara was evidence and it was performed as a religious duty. In today's time, it's a physical exercise. Now, it was developed into a popular exercise. In Vedic period, military training was developed and practiced. Along with military training, martial skills, handling, wrestling, use of bows and arrows, dagger, fight, sword, fight, ma mace, fight, hurling, and discuss horse riding, chariot racing, hunting, elephant riding, boxing were evidence. Early Hindu period. The third early Hindu period, Rama, Ramayana and Maharabrata make great deals of reference of physical training. The practice of fighting with animals was prevalent and was considered to be important features of this age. The fourth, later Indo period. In later Indo period, great, great universities like Taxela and Nalanda were developed. Wrestling, archery, and mountain climbing were given sp special attention. At Nalanda University, swimming, breathing exercise and yoga were part of the student learning. The fifth medieval period in the 12th centuries AD our physical education system was promoted in the Gurukulas by our ancient teachers. In the gymnasium, the famous religious prophet like Shuri Shamara Ramadas Shaomi felt the importance of physical education. The lastly is British period. Before evidence, before independence, the evidence of physical education is nowhere but somewhere it was evidence. So that's 
the history of physical education in India.